Hey everyone, Rascal here. And Mama, welcome to our podcast. Today we're looking at the underrated series, Supernatural, Supernatural the, the Anime, anime series. series. This is the first ever anime created based on a TV live action series, and it retells the first two seasons of Supernatural by adding its own interpretations, some original stories, and some events with Japanese mythology. Mm hmm. And we've actually had this particular unopened. DVD set since 2013, but Rascal decided to trick me being the undercover shady Hitachi and twin mm -hmm. from uh, Oran High School Host Club. And she got me to open it. But I'm really, really glad she talked me into opening and us watching it because it is absolutely fantastic and amazing. And I really wish we'd done it sooner now. Right. And... We had heard of this years ago when Supernatural was still, um, like, probably halfway through its series run. And they had it online through um, YouTube for free mm -hmm. before CW had their own little YouTube channel. And Mom, Mom first saw the episode, like, okay, that, that's too much. Because if you know for anime, they tend to take extremes depending on who's in charge with the violence and monsters and stuff. So it was so, a little more graphic than the regular Supernatural had. Right. So after two episodes, I stopped and I said, you know, I can go back and watch it anytime I want since we own the DVD series. Right. And also thinking that it would be available on YouTube, which for a long time it was no longer available for years. Mm -hmm. And recently, this year, back in June, they actually have a CWC channel on YouTube. And so now, if you like, you can watch every episode for free. Right. And there are, all together are 22 episodes. And it doesn't cover every single episode from every season, but mm -hmm. they pick and choose episodes that had to do with the main story, put them together, trim it down to 22 minutes instead of 40-something minutes, and add, every once in a while, they add a whole new storyline to uh, the show that the original series never had. Right. Now, for those of you who may not be familiar with the series Supernatural on the CW, I'm so sorry that you have no idea that this exists. But in case you don't, this is the story of two brothers, the Winchester brothers, Sam and Dean. And for 15 seasons, with 15 seasons airing the first episode, October 10th, this past Thursday. Mm -hmm. Uh, travel the country battling a host of mythological creatures who actually are real, battle evil, and they're called hunters. Mm -hmm. And they work to fight evil and save the world and save our people every day. Mm -hmm. So for the anime, they took the same premise, but of course they gave it an anime twist. Mm -hmm. One thing that really shocked us is when we watched some of the extras, we saw artwork where Sam and Dean actually looked just like Jensen and Jared. And then um, the person who was producing it said, the project creator said, well, if you have an anime character look too real, then it doesn't look real, which we kind of didn't understand. So they totally changed the looks where they gave them anime versions of themselves. Mm -hmm. And then some of the characters like Bobby and Missouri... Yeah, the <laughs> and the yellow eyed demon don't look anything, or even John Winchester. Yeah, they, Winchester looks nothing like Reese. Yeah, and I believe that this was probably adding, as you said, their own twist to the characters or going for uh, American tropes that aren't even used anymore because Missouri kind of looks like Mama Odie now, and mm -hmm. she was only in one episode, and they had her in here quite a few times along with Bobby. Bobby looked like Harvey Bullock, and John Winters looked like he was some detective. And like, Hunter's aren't even this clean. What are you talking about? Now, to me, he looked like in those old movies they have from the 50s where they have fishermen on the wharf. And to me, he looks like a wharf fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> so, as we mentioned, they gave it its own anime twists with some original stories and some mm -hmm. stories they actually took and just uh, gave them an anime twist. Right. But they had the same exact outline or i should say storyline right just condensed down to 20 minutes instead of 40 and there were times though and for the first time seeing it there were some really actually some pretty great ideas mm -hmm. that they had that worked well with the anime and could work well with live action Absolutely. like involved like a ghost of the impala mm -hmm. and they think it's their impala that's running over people yeah that was good yeah and there, were, and there were others that they were able to have the actual monsters mm -hmm. and look like the creatures instead of just humans with some makeup on mm -hmm. and then there were 
like only two that there were only two episodes that didn't work, right? And there were only weak points because they had two diff two people with two different viewpoints on the show. One wanted the action and the horror, the other one wanted the emotions and mm -hmm. talking about your feelings. And sometimes you could tell who became in charge because they had one episode where they went to Vegas and Mama said that would never happen in the history of that show. <laughs> and Dean was cursed and had bad luck, like. For eternity until someone else got a coin, and it was just the one goofy episode that the regular Supernatural had. It had already done it with Sam, you know, him losing his shoe. I lost my shoe. Yes, and they just took it and they flipped it, and they said it was original, but it really wasn't. Right. But besides those two, every other episode right. we really truly enjoy. Right. Now, I like to point out that this is a true, true anime which was produced by a Japanese anime studio Madhouse. So mm -hmm. it's not an American company being inspired by anime. It's truly genuine anime. Right. And the great thing is they flew Jensen and Jared to Japan. And prior to each airing of the episode, either Jensen or Jared separately or together mm -hmm. introduce each episode. And then, as we mentioned, there's some great extras where they do some interviews where we learn that poor Jensen and poor Jared had no idea about anime nor had ever watched it, which brought just hilarious sounds for me that I could not suppress. Right. And um, they talked to the creators, and they also asked them about, because at the time this came out, season six was airing on TV Live. Yeah. And they were asking them, you know, what were some of the... Highlights uh, for them about right. the anime. Have they ever watched anime? Where did they picture the actual show itself going? What were their hopes for this anime series? Mm -hmm. Would they like it to continue? Unfortunately, it didn't. This is the only DVD set they had. Right. I really wish they had continued with this because it was a terrific idea. And I do remember, unfortunately, that some of the fandom didn't like that Jensen only voiced... Um, Dean's character the last two episodes, but you have to remember he was also doing the movie Batman Under the Red Hood yes. and other projects. And he could not be in two places at one time. I personally think Andrew Farrar, who did his voice, did a great job at sounding like Dean. Mm -hmm. But there was a marked difference, of course, when you get to the last two episodes. It was such a big difference that they even changed the way his character looked right. to reflect the strongness and powerfulness of his vocal performance right. to match up with the voice. But I think, I think Andrew Farrar did a great job. Right. And he should be really commended for uh, giving that character life and meshing so well with Jared in doing Sam. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, it, it wasn't right. continued on. And, bes and besides that, there were also complaints of their designs. Like, why do they look... Why does, why does Sam look malnourished? I thought he looked like Cowboy Bebop. Uh, <laughs> Dean looked like he was high half the time and just too. He was well. He was like yeah, really. The first two episodes, his eyes were giant and he looked like he was, he was high. always okay. You said that, and he was always surprised at everything, and he looked goofy. Right, and we and found then they corrected that right. after the second episode. Right, and we found out that um, one of the directors really liked Dean, and they kind of had more extremes with their personality. Sam was way more of the emo, I'm so emo person <laughs> like Keith, and Dean was the goofball jokester. Lance. So, yeah, right. Lance and, and Keith, Keith and Lance neck and neck. <laughs> who are you? And they had them just go to extremes with that, so Dean was just a goofball and Sam was just overly serious and then eventually they kind of toned it down a little bit because the show itself was a serious show, so they had to balance mm -hmm. out their uh, personalities again. Now what I do like for some of the episodes that were taken from the original st episodes, like In My Time of Dying, and there were several more, they stuck with the arc and they stuck with the storyline, but each one of the stories they went with from the original had a different ending. Right. So it wasn't the same ending that we would expect from the live action. And as Rascal mentioned, they were able to put more into it as far as how the the demons or the mythological characters looked because mm -hmm. they were doing anime. It was really good, really great, really strong series. Right. And I'm just very bummed out that they did not 
have any more and continue where I can buy more. And, and it's a shame because we've seen that they keep trying to expand the Supernatural Universe and either fans or CW Network does not want it's a Supernatural yeah. Cinematic Universe because there was right. supposed to be a Bloodline series, a uh, Samuel Cole prequel, Wayward Sister series, an anime, and it seems like everything gets shut down and perhaps they don't want competition for longer than this final season. It's like, okay, it's time we get some new people. And we need some new stuff. We're done with Supernatural, unfortunately. Now, now all of these were great spinoffs. Supernatural Bloodlines would have taken place in Chicago and would have been based on monsters actually being the leaders of the mafia that's mm -hmm. in Chicago. And it also would have been another first where they had an African American who was going to be the lead character, mm -hmm. the lead hunter in the series. Mm -hmm. Samuel Colt was going to be based on Frontierland. And a prequel actually telling the story of how Samuel Colt created the cult that killed anything in existence with the special bullets mm -hmm. um, and how he worked and followed a group of hunters. Mm -hmm. And then Wayward Sisters, of course, which we got to see the pilot uh, for, mm -hmm. and when it wasn't picked up, was um, based around the women of Supernatural, Sheriff Jody, um, and some other characters you're familiar with. And it looked pretty good. There were some things we liked and some things we didn't like, but we really hoped that it was going to get picked up, but the CW chose right. not to. Right, and they had to rewrite the episode's ending and ax it off with the regular Supernatural to show that nothing else was going to happen with that, so they had to cancel that storyline. Right, so this anime series is truly a miracle in that it was actually allowed to be done, that Justin and Jerry got to go to Japan, and that we have something that we can cherish after the show is over that shows another sh offshoot mm -hmm. of what this series truly could have been. Right. And I even like that near the end, they actually did a little bit of a fourth wall joke like the original show would do, where uh, Dean went to this video store that doesn't exist anymore, and mm -hmm. Bobby worked there, and he was saying, I don't even want to check out this this uh, monster hunting series and <laughs> it was all the the episodes they had done so far and they were their own movies or series and I was like okay now that, that was that was something that's something they would do like with the supernatural books so yes. maybe that was like their way of getting Chuck in at some point and instead of writing books right. he would make uh, anime or something <laughs> right so I just like to say this was really smart it was cerebral in some cerebral at some points it had the horror yeah, um, a more extreme uh, horror bit to it. Than it needed, right. It had the original characters, and for the most part, the original voice actors. It stuck with the characters we know, and it even ended with a cliffhanger. Mm -hmm. Because Just like they the truly were expecting to create another disc mm -hmm. that would have been based on uh, seasons, I think they said three, three and four. four. Yeah. yeah, they kind of combined them both. So if they had been kept doing this and kept going, they probably could have been on uh, maybe season ten by now. While the live action was done, you could have had the anime to keep going with mm -hmm. and see what they could have gone into. And heck, they could probably have done some anime crossover since we've got a Scooby Natural oh, crossover. Yes. Maybe we could have gone like Full Metal Alchemist or Black Butler or something that like that. Been cool. So. And lastly, I want to mention, uh, wasn't it really cool that they had the original song that they play at the end of each episode? Yes, the Wayward, Wayward Sons. Sons. Yes. They did better than this season where in the beginning when we had a recap, we didn't even get to hear the song. So ah. if you haven't seen this, I just want to let you know that you do not have to be a viewer of the live action series. The creators, um, Shigeyuki Miya and Atsuko Ishizuka said that they wanted to make this particular series separate from the actual live action. Mm -hmm. So you can watch this on its own. It's just a good piece of anime you want to see. As we mentioned, it's available online through the CWC on YouTube, or you can get it still online at Amazon. I was fortunate to get it back in 2013 for $5. I guess I could say fortunate. It was unfortunate because it's like they were having a special trying to clear it out. And as I said, I kept it as a collectible and finally opened it to watch it. Mm -hmm. But if you haven't seen it and you love anime and or you like horror or dark fantasy uh, animation, this mm -hmm. is a series you should definitely watch. Right. Just know that 
when it ends, unfortunately, it is the end, and there will be no continuation after the cliffhanger. Yeah. So use your illusion and imagination and decide how you want it to end. <laughs> right. So let us know what you if you've seen the show. Let us know in the comments below, or if you're looking forward to seeing it or watching it on YouTube. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Rascal Entertainment, and I'm Mom Entertainment. Have a fantastic day. Peace. It's on you, man, it's on you. Better in my dreams, she was my queen. A castle in the mountaintops, rivers and streams. Plucking sunlight from the sky in my pocket. Give it to you later on in the form of a locket. People in the back, for the people in the front. For the people on the side, for the people on the front. For the people in the middle, all the alley, wander off and everybody.